I found 11 entry level remote jobs that don't require a college degree, and I can almost guarantee you that you haven't seen these before. So if you appreciate my team and I doing all of this research to make sure that we provide the best possible options for you, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an emoji translator. What the hell is even that? Yeah, I thought I'd start off with a funny one here. You've probably never heard of this one before. And basically what they do is they translate emoji strings into okay. comprehensible language. Yes, this is a thing. There's even an article on CNBC Make It about a guy who makes a living doing this. And not only do they make a living, but they actually make pretty good money. On average, emoji translators make $61,000 a year. Really? Just for that? Now the pros of this one are it's flexible, it can definitely be fun, and it's a field with growing demand. The cons of this one are it's highly niche. So it may not be around forever. And there's a lot of risk of misinterpretation. They make people feel faced with X's for the eyes. What does that even mean? So overall, I wanted to mention this one just because I thought it was funny. I'll give it an opportunity score of six out of 10. All right, quick pause, guys. I can't believe I'm doing this, but for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I'm going to be giving you an opportunity to get your dream remote job for 80% off. Okay, link down in the description below. It's only going to be available for a few days. So check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It's gonna be 80% off, ridiculous. Next one on the list is going to be a virtual property manager. And this is someone who acts as an essential connector between landlords and tenants. And basically they manage daily tasks related to rental properties. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door. So many aspects of a property manager's job can be done remotely. And so this is a job that's sought after by property managers, real estate companies, and landlords. And virtual property managers make about $83,000 a year. So really good money here. I'll put some jobs up on the screen if you wanna check them out. The pros of this one are flexible work schedule, potential for high earnings, and it's one of the best industries that you can work in. The cons of this one are potentially irregular hours, legal compliance, as well as liability issues. And there may be challenges with customer service if you have some really annoying tenants. But overall, property management is great. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be a recipe editor. And yes, this is a job as well. And this is someone who meticulously scrutinizes culinary recipes to ensure the instructions are clear, the ingredients are logical, and the quantities are reliable. And this is a job that is typically gonna be hired by food magazines, cookbook publishers, and online culinary sites. And fun fact, the earliest known recipes were discovered from 1600 BC, and they came from an Akkadian tablet discovered in Southern Babylonia. So that's over 3,000 years ago. So I'll put an opportunity or two up on the screen. You can check it out if you'd like. Recipe editors do make $58,000 a year, so pretty good money, especially for an entry-level job. The pros of this one are going to be flexible and remote schedule, of course. You get exposure in the cooking and food industry, and there's room for constant learning and development. Some of the cons of this one are the pressure of maintaining accuracy. It can be very tedious, and it requires continuous learning and adaptation to new culinary trends, right? So you might have some kind of recipe, and then you need to figure out how to edit it and convert it into to a keto friendly recipe or a gluten friendly recipe. This shit better be gluten free. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Probably not as much opportunity as some of the other ones on the list. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if there's some careers that you really like or other ones that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and comment below and there's a good chance I'll put it in an upcoming video. Next one on the list is going to be a wellness coordinator. So I've talked about this a million times on the channel. There is thousands of these random little healthcare related careers and wellness coordinator is going to be one of them. And basically what they do is they promote wellness programs, ensuring people meet their health and wellness goals. And wellness coordinator make a very healthy $56,000 a year. Some of the pros of this one are it can be very rewarding helping people with their health. You are preventing health issues rather than having to help them once they already have the health issues. And it's very flexible. Some of the cons of this one are you have to be able to motivate clients, which can be difficult. And it can be quite stressful to manage a large amount of people. So there are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And I'll give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a solar consultant. And this is basically someone who is an expert that enlightens households on the wonders of solar energy. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. And to be honest with you, this is a little bit more of a sales position, even though it's called a solar consultant. But this is still really good. In fact, in 2022, it was named one of the top 10 best jobs. Now, there's other names for this one, like solar representative or solar sales, etc. But solar consultants make $165,000 a year. Damn! 
So this is just another example of how you can learn sales skills and you can make a ton of money in so many different industries as long as you have that skill set down. Now, one of my other favorite types of sales jobs, and honestly, this is probably the easiest one to land at the entry level, is going to be tech sales. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to go from zero experience to getting a job in tech sales in a very short period of time. And they all did this by using a company called Course Careers. And Course Careers does have a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. They also have a certificate program, which guarantees you interviews. And if you decide to sign up for that, that link will give you $50 off. So overall, the pros of being a solar consultant is there is a large income potential. The industry is still growing and will continue to do so. And it's an eco-friendly career. Some of the cons here are there is going to be irregular hours. It can be high pressure. Sales is not for everybody. And there is a dependence on commission. So you might have one really good month where you make $20,000 and the next month you only make one or 2,000. But overall, this one's still phenomenal. I'll give it an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is another funny one. One, it's going to be a tarot reader. <laughs> Are you serious? And this is where people use tarot cards to gain insight into their past as well as their future. Now you might be laughing right now, but tarot readers make $88,000 a year. What? What the f So if you make fun of them, they might be crying, but they'll be crying all the way to the bank. So I'll put like a job opportunity or two up on the screen so you can check it out. The pros here are going to be flexible schedule, and it's a pretty fun and relaxing job. The cons here are your income may be unpredictable, you may face skepticism, and it probably takes time for you to build a client base. But overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a tax preparer. You know, we do have taxes coming up here pretty soon, unfortunately. And tax preparers are the crafters of accurate, and compliant tax returns. And a lot of the time you're gonna get hired by accounting firms, tax firms, as well as corporations. And an interesting fact, a state I used to live in is Washington and bottled water is taxed in Washington. However, you can request a refund from the tax as long as your bottled water is prescribed by a doctor. Now this is a super easy one to get into, but it doesn't pay all that well. You make about $41,000 a year. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen in case you wanna check them out. The pros here are flexible schedule, lots of remote work options, and there is a seasonal surge in demand, which I guess could be a pro or a con depending on what you want. The cons here are tax season can sometimes feel like being stuck in a hurricane, managing client financial expectations can be difficult, and it can be a stressful job overall, especially during tax season. But overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. By the way, if some of these jobs are good, but they're just not perfect for you, go ahead and share this video with a friend who they might be better for. The next one is really cool, and I think this is gonna be a massive job in the future, and that's a smart home consultant. Now this one is also a consultant, which is kind of a salesperson, but it's a little bit more on the consultant side. And basically they specialize in home automation and technology. For instance, there's a lot of people out there that can just say the word and their air conditioner comes on, or they say the word and their shower or their fireplace comes on, etc. Now in this role, you make about $81,000 a year. So it's still really good money. Some of the pros of this one are you get to learn about cutting edge technology. There's high demand in the growing smart home industry, and you have a variety in different types of daily tasks because everybody's home and their home needs are going to be different. Some of the cons of this one are the field is evolving rapidly, so you have to stay up to date on the latest technology, and it may involve dealing with intricate systems, so you have to be very tech savvy. But here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen, and I'll give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be a very interesting one, and that is a conversation designer. Oh, and this is someone who crafts dialogue for AI assistance. And this is done to make interactions feel more natural and realistic. Now this is an entry level job, very easy to get into and they make about $52,000 a year. Some of the pros of this one are you get to work in an emerging field. It's a pretty fun job and it's also flexible and available remote. Some of the cons of this one are you constantly have to upskill. It can be challenging and you do have to be somewhat tech savvy. So I'll put some opportunities for this one up on the screen and I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because a lot of these jobs that I put up on the screen, hundreds and hundreds of people are going to go to them. And so of course, in order to have a better chance of landing it, you want to be one of the first ones to apply to the jobs. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you'll be the first person to watch the video and check them out. Next one on the list is going to be a documentation specialist. And you're basically going to be like a guardian of a company's documents, making sure that they're securely stored, but they're also easily accessible for the right person. And a lot of the time you'll be working in either the finance industry, maybe legal, healthcare, etc. Basically industries where it's very important that you keep accurate documentation and you keep those documents safe. I just erased 
everything. Now this is an entry level job, relatively easy to get into, and on average they make about $42,000 a year. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen, you can check them out. Some of the pros of this one are there are lots and lots of entry level remote opportunities available, there's very different industries that you can choose from, and it's extremely independent, meaning you don't have to work with a lot of other people. Some of the cons are it can be relatively boring and monotonous, and you need to have incredibly good attention to detail. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. Next on the list is going to be a veteran veterinary technician. So if you're someone who really likes working with animals, this could be a great one for you. Oh. And in this position, you are essentially the backbone of any veterinary practice. And you're basically doing exactly what the title suggests. You are assisting the veterinarian. This is an entry level job, relatively easy to get into. And yes, there are actually remote positions available. Typically, these would be fielding questions from people who are bringing their pets in. And you could make about $44,000 a year. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen in case you want to check them out. Some of the pros of this one are there are work from home opportunities, believe it or not. You have a diverse set of daily tasks and you get to help animals. Some of the cons of this one are emotional stress, you may be required to work on call, and salaries may be lower compared to in-clinic positions. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a localization specialist. And this is a very interesting position where you adapt text and graphics from one language into another, ensuring that the product appears native to its target audience. <laughs> Do you understand that? And typically you'd get hired by IT, manufacturing, and other types of businesses. And it's kind of like being a translator for a book, but instead of just translating words, you're translating the entire essence of the book from one culture to another. And on average, localization specialists make about $60,000 a year. So I'll put an opportunity up on the screen. You can check it out. The pros of this one are there is diverse work, it's flexible, and you're constantly learning. Plus you have a huge opportunity here if you are someone who understands two different cultures. Some of the cons are it can be time consuming and there is a risk of being culturally insensitive but overall this is a very interesting one and it's especially good if you're someone who is very familiar with two different cultures so it's probably not going to be for everyone but for the people who it is good for i'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way if you haven't checked it out already i did make another video on six of the best work from home jobs that don't require a college degree and you can check that out by clicking right here